Hey everyone, Brando here. And Mike. And we host the Game Addicts Podcast. A show about modern and retro video games. That we play and collect. Now, here's some vital information for you. Our podcast is found on podcast services around the globe, such as iTunes, Podbean, Stitcher Radio, and YouTube. Check us out every Thursday for a new episode. But wait, there's, there's more. more. If you pledge to the Journey to Comics Network Patreon, you get early access to the audio version of the show up to a week early. So what are you waiting for? It's time to level up and check out the Game Addicts podcast to today. today. Following is a Journey to Comics Network production. something a little different this time um we are going to watch friday the 13th because the, um, if you're listening to this the day that it comes out it's friday the 13th so it's time to get spoopy everybody spoopy 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 i rolled a blunt and we're gonna smoke that and start the movie you won't be able to hear the movie, but if you'd like to watch along, I'm sure that could probably, if you're tech savvy, you could probably figure out how to do that. We're going to watch it with subtitles, um, and um, it's going to be on mute, and you're going to hear our honest and raw opinions about the original 1980, Friday the 13th. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Wait, that's not Paramount, is it? <laughs> no, that's idea. Universal. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you, Sean S. Cunningham, for this brilliant film. Oh, oh. Okay, we pre-watched the movie um, because, first of all, I had never seen it. Well, I guess you didn't pre-watch it, did you? Joanna's been busy. A few months ago, I did. <laughs> but um, I had never seen it, so I didn't want to get like sucked into the movie and not be able to pay attention to talking. Uh, and I forgot that it st- started out in 1958. And everyone's so happy. I know, everyone's so happy-go-lucky. Definitely 1950s. Everybody in their 90. Singing songs together. Mm-hmm. I don't have a phone out. <laughs> Are you allowed phones at uh, sleepaway camp now? Do they still have sleepaway camps? Is that a thing? <coughs> Yes, please try not to die. We're sitting on a couch for this one. We normally sit at a table. And um, it's definitely going to be a race to get up off this couch before you pee your pants if you start coughing. I'm glad I don't have that problem. <laughs> Hashtag mom life. <laughs> Hashtag why I bought a brown couch. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's gonna show on it. <laughs> Dirt, pee, shit, it all looks the same. It's it'll all blend in. Yeah, totally. And I like how they're all singing like hymns. Not even like camp songs. <coughs> <coughs> Two of the counselors are making eyes at each other. They're about to go bone. I couldn't with that hair. <laughs> I couldn't with how high waisted <laughs> his shorts are. How do you get them off? <laughs> we'll never know. <laughs> They're too narrow to go over your hips. Uh, 
Oh, and the socks. Oh, I dig the socks. What kind of question is that? Is Marianne as good of a kisser as I am? Why would you want to know? <laughs> no, she's better. <laughs> you still want to have sex? <laughs> You're probably not as good at anything else either. <laughs> this is going to be some 90s, or not 90s. It's not the 90s. It's 1958. <laughs> This is going to be some 50s missionary style sex, most likely. Because, you know. I don't remember. Do they even white have men? Sex? No, I don't think they do. Oh. <laughs> oh, Gary. Laughing. <laughs> 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 Okay, we're back. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, we should probably restart the movie, too. Not restart it, just, <laughs> just unpause it. Okay. We I'm paused sorry. the movie. We were going to sit here and not watch the movie. <laughs> okay, literally. I told you. What did I tell you? It's missionary style. I know. And they both have their shoes on. Well, they both still have their pants on. Well, See, they're just now starting to get undressed. The first thing that comes off is shoes. That just... I can't take anything else off if I have shoes on. We weren't on. doing nothing. We were just messing... Ugh. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. My dick's not I'm hard I'm so anymore. excited. Oh, my God. She's freaking... Like, she just keeps running towards him and then backing up. And yes, throw an empty box at him. That's definitely going to work. And screaming no. Yeah. <laughs> help. Even if someone heard you to help you, it, you're, it's too late. Every freaking kill in this movie has like that <laughs> music like around it. <laughs> I just hit my chin on the microphone. Oh, shit. And then I did it again. Now we're not going to hear that sound. I know. <laughs> I feel like we should just have it turned down really, really low. It's not going to pick up. Make it temporarily loud. Oh, yeah. The ch 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 ah, ah, ah. <laughs> It is on point in this movie. There is so much ch 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 ah 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 ing. Still going. <laughs> it's not picking up like at all. But it's loud enough for us to hear it. <laughs> we have like 16 minutes of credits coming. Not really. It's not that long. It does seem like it. We're both stone, though, so time is just dragging on. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we boring you, Patty? <laughs> Yes. He just did the biggest sigh. Oh my god, I love her. June 13th. The present. <laughs> so now we're in the 80s. Mm-hmm. Was this 1980? No, it had to have been filmed before 1980 because it came out in 1980. Okay, well, I'm just asking when it came out. So 1980. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I misunderstood the question. It's because you're high. Yeah. <laughs> I love this scene <clears throat> with the dog. I love that dog. I, I just know, she take just like, home. what she says to him is so ridiculous. Her. Sorry. I can't remember what she says. Oh, no. It's a boy. He's peeking. Okie dokie. <laughs> Why is that funny? It's just so, like, cheesy. I say that to my dog all the time. <laughs> I mean, I say it to my toddler, too. But... And he says, okie dokie. <laughs> Black cat day in Crystal Lake.
There's going to be a lot of, like, silence. Almost guaranteed. Yeah. I feel like we're just going to get sucked into the movie. No. I feel like I'm going to just get sucked into the movie. I'll keep you talking. Don't you worry. Holy fuck, his head's huge. (laughs) I'm so sorry. Her hair. She looks so pure and innocent. I like how everybody just stops and stares at her when she's like, where's Camp Crystal Lake? They're all like, no, I want to go there. (laughs) But we're not going to say anything. She will fuck you up. Oh, also, needless to say, spoiler warning? (laughs) I guess. Oh, the lovable town tramp. A death curse. <laughs> I'm just going to start saying that about everything. It's got a death curse. What does it say about me when the thing that I notice is him pushing her in by her butt cheeks? <laughs> yes. And then my first thought is he's going to want like a handy for giving her a ride. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because like, isn't that the stereotypical hitchhiker thing? Like the girl hitchhiking the driver's a dude who wants a fucking blow job on the road driving her 20 miles i mean maybe for like 200 miles perhaps 500 if you want to be classy <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get to know your driver yeah hell you might even get married find out what he likes <laughs> Clearly, he's not into brand new ball caps. I forgot how annoying her voice is. Very. It's a good thing she dies. (laughs) (laughs) Spoilers. Uh. Obviously. There's something you're not telling me. Has anything happened in between 58 and now? I don't know. A bunch of fires. Fun times. See, I just feel like everything he says, it wouldn't. So it wouldn't really boy, deter me either. <clears throat> so what? A boy drowned and some fires started and he had two some people bad got water. murdered. Oh well, it happens all the time. <laughs> if I didn't go places because two people got murdered there, where would I go? Well, fuck. Um, Can you imagine if I had to limit myself to places where only one person was murdered? I know exactly where you can go. To the parts of the ocean we haven't discovered yet. (gasps) That's That's a good idea. I will certainly, (laughs) certainly get the bends on my way back. (laughs) I felt something vibrating. I felt like. That was me. That was maybe my phone 21 minutes ago. (laughs) Pause. Okay. I totally forgot the music in this movie. Right? There's banjo going. (laughs) It's baby Kevin Bacon. He's so young. Which one is that? (laughs) The one on the left. (laughs) Is Caitlin? Oh my God. I'm literally when I watch movies. Hey, it's that Have you guy. never seen Dirty Dancing? Oh wait, no, that's Patrick Swayze. What the fuck? Tremors. That's the movie I'm thinking. Yeah, of. I've yeah. seen Tremors. He's in that. Oh, well, it's not like I knew his name. It's just 
again, everyone is just, it's that guy from that, that guy one movie. From that one movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sure. Uh huh. That's my life. So, a friend of mine um, made a wreath for her house, and it's Friday the 13th themed. Actually, I think it might be just serial or like horror movie themed in general. Because I think there might be some Freddy mm. Krueger stuff on there. But I know she definitely hand painted a little Camp Crystal Lake sign and it was really cool. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. That sounds adorable. Jorts. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Shut up, so honey. So loud. <laughs> and not just jorts. They are cut off jorts. <laughs> Fucking great. <laughs> With hiking boots and what appear to be wool socks, no shirt, <laughs> and a bandana around the neck. I'm digging it. <laughs> I'd be into it. The first time you saw this, who did you think was going to be the one that lives? Actually, I always kind of hope in every movie that nobody lives. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> I just get hopeful. That's like your utopia. <laughs> Nobody lives. Nobody lives. It's a <laughs> shitty ending. No, <laughs> no happy ending for anybody. You're all fucked. Also, this got oddly sexual. This scene, not our conversation. I was gonna say it gets oddly <laughs> sexual. Well, I mean, look at that bandana. I know. Don't you want to? He's on got a Caitlin? holster for a knife, but no knife. Maybe it's super tiny, like his dick. (laughs) I don't know. You would think that the handle would stick out. Well, it latches down. It's probably just a little pocket knife. Oh. Also, I love how she was holding (laughs) freaking nails in her mouth. It looked like she had to, like, clean slobber off of them when she took them out. I'm so glad I was not (laughs) looking at them. nails. Why is that so disgusting to me right now? You don't like slobbery nails? Yeah. What's wrong with you? I let my dog lick me all the time, but the idea of slobbery nails disgusts me. Right? Okay. Uh oh. Stop fighting. What do you there. want, Brandon? <clears throat> He's telling me to oh multitask. <laughs> he keeps texting me. And I was like, we've already started recording. He's like, you have to multitask. I I can just feel the sexual tension right now. I know. Between two people with basically the same haircut, (laughs) but one is curly and the other is straight. Well, it's feathered at the ends. I think that was big in the 80s. Apparently also in the 90s, (laughs) because I remember many a family portrait with feathered bangs. Yes. A soft caress. Have you ever wondered how long it took to do your hair in these other decades? Because I literally wake up most days and don't even brush my hair. I will occasionally readjust the ponytail that I went to sleep with. (laughs) And make sure that my growing out undercut is up off of my neck. Because my toddler likes to play with my hair. Seriously, everyone you see, their hair is done every he fucking day. He looks like Robin Williams and Mork and Mindy. Oh my gosh, forgot Patty was there. <laughs> He's being so quiet. He's like, Mom, it's bedtime. <laughs> We're recording like l- way later at night than we normally do. <laughs> and we made Cheddar Bay Biscuits, y'all. They were so good. Oh yeah. I never. I'm just mm. going to eat this tiny part. You eat the tiny part and leave the other one for me. <laughs> or not I mean I said it was yours so whatever <laughs> just remember that there's ash there we didn't have an ash tray oh, so we yeah. had ash on the plate I think you're good if not whatever the jeep <laughs> can't bleed <laughs> I have to see what Michelle has to say about the butt I am. When I watched this the first time, I thought this Kelly Kapowski looking 
chick. Or no, I'm all sorts of fucked up with my references tonight. I should, we should not do this late at night anymore because I can't brain this late. <laughs> um, no, she looked like the girl from Saved by the Bell that, um, <clears throat> like, OD'd on caffeine or whatever. Jeez. That one episode. I have no idea. Did Let's... you not watch Saved by the Bell? No. Fuck. I'm sure all of you are like, it's blah, blah, blah. And that dude looks like Screech. So, I don't know. Or should I quit watching the movie? <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> also, you realize the more you watch shit, how problematic it is now. Well, yeah. Like that dude had a feather and he was mocking Native Americans. Ho, don't do it. Don't get in that car. You will regret it. <laughs> also, I like how she gives the driver directions like she's fucking been there before. Like, right. oh, I think that was the road. What is this? Um, cherry Coke. But like Coke with grenadine, basically. Hey, with so. a lot of grenadine. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh, it's like syrup. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. The end of the cup is always kind of like that. Oh my god, I can't even open my eyes right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't drink your lemonade so fast. I'm thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most, like, conversation-like this podcast <laughs> has ever been. And it's like... We that we just have to continue watching movies because this is legit. I like it. <laughs> Did we just go meta? We talk about the podcast in the podcast. Shit, yeah. Kind of. Podcastception. Do 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 like Patty agrees. <laughs> oh yeah. Patty's like, I'm gonna lick my hind quarters. And then she's just like bloop, gonna jump out of this car. And survives Tuck it. and roll, right? She uh, went head first. <sighs> She's committing several um, horror movie cardinal sins, like looking behind her and falling. Yeah. She is also injured, though. True. But... I don't know. I feel like I would need to be injured first and then be really scared and start running to see if I make these same mistakes. Just wait. Just wait. <laughs> That's not We're going to recreate this scene. <laughs> Get in the car. Because <laughs> I no wonder parents. if you would just be so fucking stressed and you'd have... What is the word I'm looking for? You know what I'm looking for, but I'm too high to think of it. You're going to be stupid? No. Adrenaline? Yes. So much adrenaline that you just don't even feel that hurt leg that you just fell on. Okay. You just fucking run. This is going to be like the greatest kill scene of all time. You can see the prosthetic neck. Yeah. Like it's so janky. (laughs) But you know what? It's still awesome. I still love it. Oh yeah, by the way, this is butt stuff. <laughs> Welcome to our <laughs> podcast. We are never going to say that in the beginning. Ever. Hey, in a way, we're like the 2009 <laughs> remake of Friday the 13th. Because they had a really, really long opening scene. so sorry it's okay oh her body's really nice right i'm so jealous how do you even get oh there's that tan line i'm not into it anymore (laughs) (laughs) never mind 
I just have a really weird thing. I don't really like the Indians. That's why you're so pale. I have a tan Actually, line. The only tan line I have is on my feet from my flip flops. I have all sunburn tan lines right now because well, yeah. I got burnt on Sunday. And not only my shoulders came in, but my left boob. <gasps> Just the left one? Just the left cleavage got burnt, but the right was fine. Your and left cleave got burnt. And not the right. And I'm trying to figure out how that happened. It's magic. I'm going to be so fucking mad if I start to tan randomly, and then I just have different covered... Different covered? Different <laughs> colored cleavage. It's <laughs> so hard to say. Well, maybe if you didn't cover your cleavage differently... They um, it wouldn't be an issue. They were not covered differently. Do you want to see my cleavage from Sunday? I always like to see boobs. Oh, it's a picture. I thought you were going to take your shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag clothing optional. <laughs> That's never Not for me, because I'm freaking cold. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Do you still have your air conditioner on? Yes. Oh my god. Oh, that's nice, Cleve. Yeah, but they're both covered. I am never ready for photos. Ever. I either blink. You just have to hold it, dude. Or make some sort of weird fucking face and I just can't do it. This is the oldest trick in the book. <laughs> Pretend to drown so that you can make out with the person who's giving you fake CPR. Would you do it, Caitlin? I don't know. Maybe if it was somebody really cute. I mean, I don't know how to swim, so I could <laughs> really start drowning. <laughs> and then it wouldn't be fake CPR. It would be a double win. <laughs> right? Would you have the consciousness to, like... Enjoy it? No, to, like actually make out with somebody because you'd be like dying and then you'd be focused on like I don't know getting oxygen in this scene it takes 18 people to kill one snake <clears throat> Beal <laughs> he just starts running every time I hear someone say Bill I think of True Blood Beal Beal <laughs> Sucky. <laughs> oh this sound is so good. Sucky. It. <laughs> He's got a fucking machete. Yes, everybody pile under the bed because you'll definitely catch it that way. So have you ever read the True Blood like book? Can't remember. I've read some of them, yes. I only had the first one. And it when varies. The when the show came out, it was not the southern accent that I was thinking of. Oh. It's it was not... much more male. <laughs> Damn it. Why did it take you three tries to chop off its head? Because he's a bitch. Sorry about the chewing noises. These biscuits are dope. Who says dope? Apparently you. Apparently. <laughs> he has so much fluff in his hair. I know. <laughs> they murdered that pillow. Want me to make bread pudding? Oh, sure. That's delicious. I love how she's not wearing a bra. That's the way to go. Oh, look. More cultural appropriation. <laughs> oh, shit. There's a cop. Is she wearing a bra? It could be one of those, like, late 70s bras that's, like, not really padded. But her nipples show so much through that shirt. I know, but sometimes that happens if you only have a thin layer. I don't know. Maybe she's not wearing a bra. I can't currently see them. 
I don't wear a bra at work. It's too damn hot. Yeah, I don't think she's wearing a bra. Have that son. He's like crumb cruising. <laughs> he's like, he's Mom, running. I want to cuddle. Let his tail bump. <laughs> oh, Patty. You can come up here. Come on. There we go. Wow. Hi, Pad. That's his favorite spot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Press the back button. <laughs> no, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, no, let's watch it in 1.5. That'll make it go faster. <laughs> we accidentally rewound to the snake scene. Uh oh. How did I even do that? You moved the damn controller. Should Is I? it in 1.5? No. Oh, okay. It's fine. Whatever. We'll just you know, make good salad. Rediscuss bread pudding and the hamburgers and the cop and... Yeah, she's definitely not wearing a bra. Yeah, definitely I'm not. I'm so glad that it reversed. <laughs> we got to see boobs. A patty. I really wish I, like I had my lemonade still. I know, right? I really don't want your grenadine with a splash of Coke, Coke. in it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll pause the movie. We can go get drinks. Okay, drinks have been acquired. <laughs> you dig it? <laughs> and we smoked the rest of that blunt. <laughs> and Joanna got cottage cheese, which I think is revolting, but... Hashtag no bashing. <laughs> I like so many foods that other people think are disgusting. Brandon likes cottage cheese, too. I just think the texture is really fucking weird. I love it. And, and I also, I hate when people make lasagna, and instead of putting ricotta cheese in it, they put cottage cheese. How dare you? I'm sorry. How not, dare you? Not all the time. Uh-huh. But seriously, the best meal ever is sauerkraut and pickles. I could just eat that for every meal and be totally happy, but I don't That's think... That's disgusting. I, don't think I cannot can. eat sauerkraut. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? It's so good. Oh my god, no. I don't like not pickled cabbage, so why would I like pickled cabbage? Because it's awesome. Gross. Gross. I would really like sauerkraut right now, but I already ate all that we had. We ain't gonna stand for no weirdness out here. <laughs> the high-waisted jeans are life. Why did he have to go so far down to turn <laughs> Like, really? There's so literally a driveway right there. So he can show off more Caitlin. This kitchen looks straight out of like 1913, not even 1958. We're in the 80s now. I know. And I mean, that's it's an old camp. Surely it's going to look about the same. The messenger of God. We're doomed. Doomed. <laughs> Doom. <laughs> Doom. That wasn't Invader Zim, Caitlin. I know. Oops. Patty is like half off the couch. Oh my gosh. We need to do Invader Zim. Let Usher splash it. Pat, quit being a butthole. His jersey reminds me of the Ray Finkel jersey. God damn it. From, um,. Ace Ventura. I sure hope you guys are like watching along because this will make a hell of a lot more sense if you are. Yeah, I don't think that if you have never seen this movie, this is going to make any sense whatsoever. But hopefully it's still funny. We'll lean in seductively against the doorway. Doomed! <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't holler it over his shoulder one more time. Doomed! I was really hoping that was what was going to happen. 
I really just want to watch. I want someone to edit this movie and put that guy randomly throughout the movie. Doomed! Doomed. <laughs> <clears throat> he fucking, like, pops up in the corner like Brad Pitt in Fight Club with his dick out. What? Brad Pitt in Fight Club. Where's He's like, na- well, maybe not naked, but... He's, they, you've never seen Fight Club? I never watch movies. You know this. I suck at watching movies. Because I get distracted and I'm like, oh yeah, I've seen it. And I fucking didn't watch half of it. What the fuck? Like, I can stay really, I can watch hours of Game of Thrones or any TV show. But something about movies usually blows the shit out of me. a plate of hamburger buns. Like they didn't come in plastic or anything. God damn it, Pat. He's like, I want cottage cheese, Bob. Give me the cottage cheese. <laughs> the pony back up? Ah. Yeah. I thought that was ominous music, but it's just the generator. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like some discordant piano note or something. That it's a very pretty sunset for I mean, murder. If you're gonna die, you might as well see that, right? Right? Is that a fucking beaver? She's wearing the same outfit as the day before. It's, it's not the, the day. It's that same evening. Oh, shit. I thought it was morning. So it will be right before they die. Yeah. Well, you kids better enjoy it. Right? Plus, where the fuck are they gonna do laundry? In the lake. <laughs> what? I didn't notice until just now. I don't know if I bumped it or if Patty bumped it. I didn't notice that it was going any faster. <laughs> <laughs> In case you missed it, we accidentally fast forwarded the movie some. Because, um, we're stoned. So, that's what our podcast is about. We don't normally watch movies, but we might start doing this more often because I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's quite enjoyable. And it's fun to poke fun at these cheesy horror movies. Like, so fun. I love horror movies. And that was the last time he was seen alive. Like, have you ever seen the movie Bubba Otep? No, I have not. It's like Elvis Presley and I can't remember who else. I think Rob likes it. Silent Rob. Oh, this movie's fucking weird. Yeah. It's as weird as the Killer Penis movie. The Killer Penis movie? Yeah. I can't remember what that's My mom either, has that but... same barrette, like, literally <laughs> still owns to this day a barrette that looks like that. Oh, shit. Yeah. What do you use those for now? I don't, My mom pulls her hair back with them. She doesn't oh. like putting her hair in a ponytail because it gives her a headache. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's Elvis and whoever they're in a retirement home. And they like defeat mummies or something. It's awesome. Interesting. I need to find that movie again. It's just one of those really bad, like, you I want to say that Rob movies. owns it. <laughs> like, I really feel like he does. If he owns that. Hey, Rob, let me know if I'm wrong. We're going to we're gonna high five Rob. Right. <laughs> and then we're going to watch it. Okay. I think for Halloween we should watch Ash vs. Evil Dead. Is that what it is called? Well, you haven't watched any of the Evil Dead movies, right? Right. We have to start with Evil Dead. Okay. Maybe we'll do a Patreon exclusive episode of Evil Dead. That would be fun. I love that movie. Army of Darkness, though? That's my favorite. Oh. And Ash versus the Evil Dead. That it's is rough such seas a good at Camp Crystal Lake. Ugh. I like how they don't even like inform anybody that they're gonna go anywhere. Like someone might be concerned where they went off to, and they're just like, "No, we're gonna go bone in this cabin and probably get murdered." I don't think that's their thought. I think it's, no one's going to know we're out here. It's going to be a secret, and we're going to bone out in this cabin. And probably get murdered. 
I feel like I would unfortunately probably be with one of those people. <laughs> the ones that get murdered while boning? Yeah. Or post boning. I feel like that's what that would that's what will happen. Gratuitous butt crack. That underwear is awful. Right? I can barely talk right now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Hip bones, though. Like, my mouth is just not going along with what I want to say. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Patty understands. Look at him. Yeah, he's like, that's my mom. Her slurred speech is something that I am used to. But he loves me all the same. Mm hmm. I mean, at least the killer waited until they were done. You know, so, th- I mean, that was considerate. You may as well enjoy your last few. Right. Moments. But what if he was done after 30 seconds? That wouldn't be enjoyable for her. And then she dies unhappy. True. No, they're not. Dang it. I drink too fast. Yes, you do. I'm just a very thirsty person. <laughs> and weed gives you cotton mouth, like, hardcore. Yeah. Her outfit reminds me of someone on, like, Hey Dude, back in the 90s. I hate her shoes. They're like cowboy boots. I just fucking hate them. I really just... don't like cowboy boots. mm playing Monopoly with their family (laughs) over the summer and one of your cousins is like we should play strip Monopoly and you're like how about no Kevin Kevin (laughs) I just don't feel like Monopoly is a game I'd want to strip to no I wonder we need to try out what's going to be the best stripping game I mean poker is pretty good but let's think outside the box or in the box because we strip got... scattergories. Michael. Dominance. I wonder if you can hear him <laughs> when he's talking. We'll have to re-listen to the episode and find out. Yeah. Oh my god, my toes are falling asleep. See, she just looks like she's faking it. Oh god, yes. Oh, your penis is so good, but we probably didn't have enough foreplay. There's definitely no vibrators involved. Butt clench. Harry butt clench. <laughs> that was just like really mechanical too. It was like. Uh, 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 uh. Well, that's because she's not enjoying it. No. Like maybe I can make this awkward. Somehow just go away. Why did he grab the pillow <laughs> sensually? Like I do not understand. Because the pillow was softer than her. I mean, she did have pretty small boobs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a face of, I wish I didn't do this. <laughs> this sucked. Look at these old beer bottles. Those are adorable. They're smoking a doobie. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized what he said. Boob cuppage. Mike just said, who me? I like how they went to all that trouble to cover the one boob and then show the other one. Yeah. And those are some terrible, terrible (laughs) tan lines. You see why I hate them so much. It's just like a really skinny triangle directly (laughs) over the nipple. (laughs) Just hate it. He's like, I need to cover this up. I need to cover my boobs up, but we'll just let my penis fly free. Yeah. No pants, but she takes a raincoat. I hope I they used a raincoat. I can't lie. I prob- That would probably be me. <laughs> you never wear pants. Exactly. I, I go so many places without pants. 
storehouse. Well, you don't house. go those places. Without pants. You become pantsless once you arrive. I do go to my backyard pantsless. I In the dark. Hope, I always hope my neighbor never comes outside. Oh, I've transferred it to the morning, too. Oh, okay. Over my morning coffee. No pants. No A people. fucking cowboy boot. This Monopoly board does not look old at all. It looks brand freaking new. Right? Doesn't look like it's been in a cabin. No, the box looked way older than the board does. <laughs> Probably because no one wanted to play it because Strip Monopoly's on board. Well, I think people also would just play regular Monopoly. But that's not that much fun either because there's no stripping. I did it again. <laughs> You're about to see more neck prosthetics. It's a completely different color than his skin. <laughs> it looks like clay. Like they just molded it out of fucking Play-Doh. Well, he has a very reddish undertone and um, the prosthetics very yellow undertone. Just a yeah. Orange. It looked like his neck was already dead. But you know what? They They did it. It was, oh god. <sighs> That's why we can't record late at night, because I'm gonna fucking yawn the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I hope none of you have headphones on. Oh my god. <laughs> Enjoy Patty's breathing. He's <laughs> just like, what? <laughs> Oh my god, that was the best <laughs> sneeze ever. That was hilarious. Oh, that kind of hurt. It sounded like it hurt. <laughs> <coughs> that flashlight is like hardcore, dude. Looks like it takes a car battery. Oh, okay, he's so concerned about his mama. Aww. Mr. Patty. He's a mama's boy. I know. Yeah, you're mama's boy. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely Jack. Well, there goes the rest of my family in the dark. <laughs> Deal with it. Enjoy your dry mouth. See, I would run around if I looked like that in my underwear all the time. Then I would probably actually drive to your house without it. I mean, all your bits would be covered, so technically it wouldn't be a problem. Right. With, with that many sinks, who spends that much time wondering why that one tap isn't working? <laughs> right. I think I would just move to the next one and then right? not finish it. And then if that one didn't work, you would check for the water valve or whatever it's called. Oh, I would go until none of them worked. <laughs> then I'd think about it. Or I'd just also, say, fuck it. It'd how disgusting is communal bar soap? Caitlin... So gross. Why would you make me think about that? And then she's biting her <laughs> fingernails. Oh my gosh. Now bars of soap are ruined for me. I mean, bars are so of soap are just fine if, as long as they're not if, communal. What if someone touches it? Well, like, one other person or two other people touching it is not as big a deal as, like, 15 or 30. Oh, that's horrifying. Or 50 campers and 10 staff, like Annie was supposed to cook for, but she died. <laughs> what are we talking about? Literally this movie. Oh, shit. <laughs> I told you I'm really bad at watching movies. <laughs> She got an axe to the face. Mm -hmm. 
That bitch Lizzie Borden her. Please tell me you know who Lizzie Borden is. She killed her stepmom and her dad with an axe. Oh, I've and she was acquitted during her trial because they thought that women weren't capable of cold blooded murder. But like, you can see crime scene photos mm-hmm. um, from like the eighteen hundreds. But they're um, like they they don't have faces anymore. Okay, I need to. You need to watch the Lizzie Borden um, thing with uh, Christina Ricci Mm -hmm. on Netflix. It was good. I mean, it's not accurate, but it was good. Okay, I'll read about it first, and then I'll watch it. Yes. Oh, Betty's leaving. See, I wouldn't wear my fucking pants either. Because I mean, you would get wet hems for sure. And muddy. Yeah. You could have clean pants now. When you come back, you don't have to worry about your pants. This is true. But then your ankles would get all muddy. But I suppose they might anyway. Yeah. Thank so. goodness he had enough forethought to put the topper on his Jeep because it was not on when he left. This unnecessary diner scene with the very stereotypical diner worker lady. I with love like glasses. Super curly hair. And the most gigantic glasses you could ever imagine. And I bet her name is like Flo or something. Oh, he put a shirt on. And pants. He's no longer wearing jorts. That's unfortunate. He just looks like a pedophile now. I know. He looks less like a pedophile. With the jorts on. Yeah. <laughs> Shockingly. He still has no knife in his little holster. It might just be a little pocket knife. I'm telling you, it's made for one of those like big knives. Like the killer was using. You keep that 75 cent Sandy. Goodbye. <laughs> You're gonna die. <laughs> you won't live to see the morning light. <laughs> You're just dead. You're just as dead as he is. <laughs> oh, is so he sweet. Cutest? So last night, I was too lazy to put my shirt back on, so I decided of to course. go to bed. And he got up and he was on my back for so long. He was so warm. And I was starting to fall asleep and then he got up and it was super cold. And I woke up and I was like, oh my God. (laughs) So then I had to cover myself up with a blanket because I didn't have him anymore. I've been going to bed with three blankets and then waking up like sweating in the middle of the night, (laughs) even though our air conditioner is on. (laughs) And so I have to take the top blanket off. Okay, then why go to bed with three blankets? Because it's cold when I first go to bed, but then as I sleep, I warm up under the blood. Stop it. <laughs> Your hands are so cold. They're kind of warm. No. This... My hands are cold. They're warm. Well, to you, because your hands are freezing. Like your wrist feels warm. and you don't we've just been sitting here touching our hands to different parts of the other person's body (laughs) to see if they can tell the temperature um that's not how it works (laughs) that hand is so much colder (laughs) it's like ice i don't think hand jobs would be pleasurable for me (laughs) i mean friction creates heat but at first it'd just be frozen (laughs) Ew, that part would be over pretty quick. I like how the hand snuck out from behind the shower curtain. Like, oh, uh, no, definitely not. I'm just going to make her look over here so I can not kill her at this <laughs> moment in time. I love how everyone has actual raincoats. Oh, I know. Not like a fucking Dollar Tree poncho. It's a legit slicker. 
Or just me, just wear whatever you're wearing and fuck it. Get wet. She has very nice legs. I will give her that. Right? They're so long. I wish I had long legs. You're just short. I know. Can you imagine if you had longer legs with the same size torso? You would look really weird. I feel like I have a really long torso compared to my legs. I don't think so. Hmm. So I'm just short. Okay, well, if I were taller, that would be nice. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, speaking of short... I can't remember what episode it was. The one where I was wearing the thong, where my butt crack was not long enough. I think that was episode three. So anyway. <laughs> Maybe. I don't I know. I got this new underwear, and it has, for whatever reason, this little cutout in the back for your butt crack to poke out. I don't know why that's sexy, but they looked really comfy. And they are comfy. But my butt crack is not long enough to poke through the hole. <laughs> So it's just my back. So it just looks like there's a giant fucking hole in my underwear. We need to figure out some way to grow your butt crack. <laughs> no, I think it's so long, but nothing fits. <laughs> Everything's like your butt crack's just not good enough for me. <laughs> I'm gonna be up here. I'm so it's sorry good. that your butt crack is not long enough for your new underwear. It's it just very disappointing. It looks so fucking weird. It's a good thing no one's going to look at them. So I can just feel their comfort and the hole in the back. Mm-hmm. These are really strange candle holders. They look like gravy boats. They look like tiny porta potties if you were to cut them in half. It's a really strange correlation there. <laughs> think it looks like a gravy boat it does because i think it is a gravy boat i just look at it looked at it from the top caitlin i'm really high Uh uh-huh from the top that's just all that came to mind because it's blue i saw this part is creepier when you find out who the killer is I keep taking cottage cheese, eating a bite, putting it back on the table, <laughs> reaching for it, and just doing the circle constantly. Just leave moving. it on your lap. I don't want to hold it the whole time. And maybe take more than one bite. Two bites. Two bites. Two bits. Now it looks like a cornucopia. It's very strange. I don't understand the shape at all. Oh, hello. God damn it. <laughs> she did it again. The controller is so sensitive. It is. You like breathe on it and it's like 1.5. Okay, sure. <laughs> Sorry, that's just where my brain went. Speaking of... So you have to touch it for like 15 minutes before it does anything? (laughs) I can get myself off in a minute, Caitlin. We're not all so lucky. I know what I am. (laughs) So I have this new screenshot of porn to show you. Yay! I didn't really want to watch this video, but I saw the thumbnail and I was really intrigued and knew I had to get a screenshot. By the way, that is a Jesus butt plug. (laughs) She's got like a fucking squid tattoo coming out of her butthole. It it looks like the squid's head's gonna like pop through any second. (laughs) Yep. Oh my god. Yeah, that was a thumbnail, Henda. Um, wow. Can you imagine how much money and how much time went into that tattoo? And how long she would have had to hold that position 
to get that tattoo because it is all up in her butt crack. And her butthole. It, literally her butthole. That is the focal point. She probably has inner anus tattoo. So I wonder how much anal she does in order for her to want to get a tattoo like this. That has to be like her favorite thing. Right? But I don't think I can I mean, it's it. very well done, but I will admit that um, at first I thought it was Spider-Man. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's red and blue. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, I see it now. <laughs> it looks like Spider Man went splat against a wall. <laughs> I really wish we could post this on social media so that. Oh my god, me too. Enjoy it. We would get age restricted for sure. Or just kicked off forever. I'm oh, speaking of really bad things. <laughs> I have not seen the new it. Oh fuck. Yikes. That's Hellraiser? Yeah, have you seen that? No, but I recognize the dude. God fucking damn it, Caitlin. I lived a very sheltered life. These are the only movies I watched Brenda. as a kid. Ever. I watched Nightmare on Elm Street when I was like four. I mean, my sister is eight years older than me, and that's, I watched Nightmare on Elm Street when I was like four. But I can t- I, that's all I watched. I mean, I liked I it. I've seen, seen several of them. I definitely remember some horror movie where they're at a camp and somebody's penis ends up in a pot of hot dogs. <laughs> I definitely don't remember which one. Just an axe in the bed. A bloody axe. A barely bloody axe. Right? That definitely didn't just get pulled from somebody's face. (laughs) I want you to look to your right, Caitlin. I know. He's so cute. Are you impressed that I looked the proper direction? Yes. I am too. It's okay. I never judge because for the longest time... After working in medical, everything was opposite for me. Oh, yeah. Because you always have to look at the patient's perspective. Yeah. So I had to do left and right. And I'd fuck it up for myself every goddamn time. <laughs> and everyone just thought I was stupid. It's like, no. <laughs> I have to think of it backwards all the time. You have day. to, like, turn around and hold your hands up. Like, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all the time. I'm finally getting back to. If this is a joke, to I'm going to brain them. What does that mean? How do you brain someone? Are you going to use the axe on their brain? Brain them. Give them really bad insults that they understand. (laughs) You have to make them think. Yeah. And they're like, God damn it. Shakespeare insults. My toddler said, God damn it today. (laughs) I wonder why. I believe that was on the phone conversation. We It was. Um, and I think it was because Brandon was frustrated with me because he couldn't find potatoes. <laughs> and so he probably said it. And then the toddler probably said it because yeah. of that. <laughs> I'm going to have to watch my mouth around him so much now. I know. So am I. Which is terrible because, like, I cuss like a sailor. You've calmed down a lot on it, though. Well, yeah, I'm, like, trying to do better. You're not going to be able to make this phone call. Because the phone line got cut, probably with the same axe that was buried in that bitch's face. (laughs) I'm just, she's not a bitch. I mean, she's dead, but she's not actually dead. Maybe she is. This movie was made a long time ago. 1980 wasn't that long. Oh, shit. It's, like, almost 40 years ago. She might still be alive. She just won't be as pretty, but maybe prettier than her with an axe in her face. (laughs) Maybe. Maybe. (laughs) I mean, it all depends on your preferences. So hopefully she wears a bra now. If not... I don't... I mean, she can wear whatever the fuck she wants. It's your body, girl. Do what you want. 
Just let them sag. Drag yeah. behind you. Sure. Tie them in a bow. Tie them in a bow. <laughs> Throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier. Do your boob sang well. I don't... I hope I never can do that. Ever. <laughs> I don't think that's a legit thing. <laughs> they would have to be really saggy. <laughs> really saggy. There has to be women out there that suffer from that, though. Can you imagine the back like, pain? Like, if you, like, were the, very, very overweight and, like, video, lost a lot of weight. The video of the helicopter. <laughs> Do you remember? Yeah. I feel like. Where her boobs she, fall out of the shirt. When she is older, I think that she will be able. To, to throw them over her shoulder. Yeah. That's a possibility, maybe. I tried to helicopter mine after that, and just nothing happened. Literally nothing. They just bounce up and down. Yeah. Because they're just not big enough. No. To helicopter. I mean, they're okay. Otherwise. They're small. 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 Small tits. Nitty bitty titty nitty. Mm Mm-hmm. That's me. (laughs) (laughs) I'm a card-carrying member. I think someone killed him. Damn. Oh, Mike? Yeah. Oh. I just heard that phrase. He's the only one left in the center. The only one left in the center. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you could have tightened it. <laughs> Joanna's microphone's like flopping all around. Someone's shining a bright light in my face. I should probably go towards them <laughs> instead of like around to the side or something. I'm zoinks. killing you. <laughs> That's like what that music is like. Zoinks. Now all I can think Every of time. is Scooby Doo. I know. They That's need- all I could think of. You meddling kids. Would have gotten away for it, with it too. It says danger, keep out. High voltage. voltage. Don't go in there. She went in there. She did go in there. Oh, spoiler. (laughs) We haven't referred to the killer by a gender yet. Lanterns look very complicated to use. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. (laughs) I really hope that comes up. I hope it does too. (laughs) (coughs) Wow, lanterns look really hard to use. Wow. Wow. (laughs) Wow. I think this is officially our longest ever episode. Oh, shit. Because the movie's like an hour and a half long. Oh, God. I'm so tired. I know. We're both, like, so tired. I'm, I'm like, exhausted. I'm ready to, like, smoke a bowl and go to sleep. Yeah, she has the right idea. Try and get some sleep. I'll be right back. Right? I'll be right back. <laughs> no, you won't. Sad you enough. about to be alone. I'm so sorry. I have a picking problem. Oh, this, this sticker. I know. It's like peeling around the edges. The stickers on the mic stands. And so it's like, gotta pick at it. I just, I can't. I just must pick. Stop. I just want it off now. Totally thought she was going to get murdered right here. but Is then, it going to be okay if I do rip it off? I mean, it's just a sticker. It'll be all right. I don't think it's holding anything together. Just <laughs> God, I hope not. <laughs> I don't think so. I just don't want to ruin your stuff. <laughs> I just can't help but pick things. We have goo gone. It'll be all right. Oh, no. You won't even have gunky stuff on there because I'll pick that off, too. Oh, okay. You like the glue burgers? Yeah. I like the peeling better, but I like it all. So don't rip it off for me. Oh, it just got so quiet. (laughs) 
<laughs> Go Flash. <laughs> what is he playing? I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> this is my life. I'm so sorry <laughs> if you could hear the couch squeaking and me moving around. <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> What'd you do? I popped my knee. <laughs> I just, just not, like it felt good, but it was like in so much pain. I just leaned forward and felt my bladder. Uh oh. How much longer is the movie? I don't know. Shit. You have to press the up arrow, I think. Okay. We've got. I can hold it. Okay. I got this. We've got like twenty five minutes left. And some of those are going to be credits too. This is true. <sighs> Bill. Oh my god, it's all curly cued. It looks like holiday ribbon. I bet that sounded weird on the podcast. I just crinkle it in front of the microphone. I feel so satisfied after that. Is there anything sticky left? Not for my pull. <gasps> I'm going to pick mine off. Yeah, just don't pick off this one. Because there's more. Oh, there's more? But I want to save it. She's going to savor the pickage. Mm-hmm. I'll just do mine. <laughs> I used to paint my nails just so I could pick it all off later. Oh, hell yeah. I did that all the time. Everything is so clean. I feel like everywhere you go, everything's so dirty and dingy in here. They give you all these high expectations, and they're just not true. What? Oh, oh there it is. I'm very confused. This kitchen is clean? Yeah, look how clean it is. I mean, it looks like... really old and dingy. The walls do, but all the stuff in it. Oh, well, I mean, they would have just cleaned it, I would think. But, and who puts sugar in a mason jar? Unless you're, like, an uber crunchy Well, what if there is going to be in there a long time? You're not going to put it in the bag. True. Not everybody. Climate's going to be different out there other than in a normal, regulated house. This is true. I highly doubt they have air conditioning. Yeah. Or heat, so. No. Oh. What is funny, though, is if you pay attention to where stuff is on this scene, it gets moved <laughs> around <laughs> in later scenes. <laughs> and, like, the mixer switches sides of the table throughout the movie. That's funny. Bail! Get off! <laughs> Bail! It's <laughs> okay. Bill! Bill! <laughs> Don't you do, do it. Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to rewatch it. I have to rewatch it now. I love True Blood. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. I don't know if my first instinct would be to scream or not. I'd be like, what the fuck? I feel like I would just kind of duck and think, oh fuck, I need to hide. Start with your fucking ninja moves. Like, I need to get the fuck out of here. Right. And not fucking scream the whole goddamn way. Right. And not fucking find my fucking flashlight everywhere. (laughs) Here I am. I'm over here. (laughs) Shut it off. Your eyes will get used to the dark. And then she's like trying to barricade the door and it <laughs> it's just she just pulls on it. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe if I Hulk smash it. <laughs> oh, there just happens to be this perfect length of rope for her to tie around one of the fucking rafters. And then tie the door. Frantically. She knows how to tie a knot. 
Thank goodness. It's not like it was a complicated one. At, at least she did I'm it. I'm going to look out the window and then frantically rip it across these branches. <laughs> Use just curtain rods. It's supposed she to didn't even plastic. close the window all the way. The door opens out and she's barricading it. Yeah, it's but ridiculous. There's still windows. Yeah. I mean, barricade the windows. She's tied the door so they can't rip it open. Push the piano in front of a window. <laughs> like, flip that table up, the yeah. couch. Yeah. There's a killer on the loose. And you got a fucking thing. light on right in front of the open window. Exactly. She made that big show about closing the window and then didn't even, like, close the curtain all the way. And it didn't bother with the other side at all. No. Oh, and now you grab the baseball bat. Okay, sure. <laughs> she barricades the door before she checks to see if anybody else is in the building. Which is stupid, because what if she needs to get out? Right. I feel like that's the first thing you should have done, right? See, the mixer changed sides. It looks so eerie now. Mm hmm. And then the coffee, the lid's back on properly. Yep. And you didn't even check all the spots either. Nope. Just that closet. Somebody jumped out and scared you earlier. Stand next to the open window. I'd be staying. It's just like a tornado, bitch. Stay away from the windows. Didn't close it all the way. Nope. Again. <laughs> the killer's hiding in the fridge. And boom. Brenda. Oh, shut up. She's like gonna poke her with a baseball bat. And at, and at this Are point, you dead? At this point, you need to be like, fuck. He already knows where I am. You or know? she. They. Oh, jeez. <laughs> just not get all technical here. <laughs> I'm just saying we don't know yet. But. That didn't happen because. Just because. Yeah. Your spot is known. Yeah. Just get the fuck out of there. Like, by the time you get the door open, because you've taken so long, the killer's gonna be right outside, like, reet, reet, reet. I have no idea what even happens anymore in this movie. Shit. Well, it's almost over, I can tell you that much. Guess what? It's not Steve. <laughs> Right. She's dead and he's dead and they're <laughs> all dead. Poor Bill. Poor Bill. <laughs> Bill. I was really waiting for you to do it. Suck it. <laughs> I mean, the very first clue that this woman was a, f like, weirdo mm -hmm. is that she didn't freak out when this chick said that they're all dead. Yeah. Because, like, if someone came up to me and said they're all dead, I'd be like, all right, you're a crazy fucking bitch. Get away from me. Well, would you not be concerned that what if they are all dead? Oh, I would be, for sure. But I'd be like, they this person probably killed them. Like, if they're all dead and this person isn't. Yeah. It's stuff like that. The benefit of the doubt is what'll get me killed someday. <laughs> Beals out there. <laughs> oh I this wonder, place. I wonder how many 
people named their kids Sookie and Bill. Well, do you know how many people have named their kid Khaleesi? Oh, I remember. Yeah. Like, I could do that for a dog. Yeah. But I like how we can hear him adjusting in bed. (coughs) He's, yeah. You know. Yeah. (laughs) I'm kidding. Well, your bed isn't on a frame, so. No, it's not. You can hear it. Hey! Hi. What's up, Mike? <laughs> we figured. It's like, haven't seen we could so hear nice. you like the whole time. <laughs> you Every responded time. to perfect things. Get sometimes. off, get off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was the one we died for? I can't wow. remember. Wow. <laughs> what did you say? I don't remember. <laughs> I said oh, something. Oh, I remember, I remember. <laughs> what are... Those lanterns look hard to use. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Love you. Love you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How does it smell down here? <laughs> Good, huh? We smoked a balloon. <coughs> does it sm- the smell okay? Yeah, it smells fine. <laughs> it smells fine. It smells fine. Jason with alopecia drowned. It looks like he came from wherever those people from the Hills Have Eyes came from. (laughs) Poor kid. So dramatic. Why would you not just grab the knife and stab the fuck out of her? Just stab her in the fucking throat and leave. Right? I feel like... But no, there has to be suspenseful music. Dun it, dun it, dun it. (laughs) I feel like if someone was going to fucking kill me, they've already killed all these goddamn fucking people, I would have no fucking problem with just fucking killing them. Not at all. I'd be like, I'm done. Yeah, your life is worthless, so... I mean, granted, torturing them might be a little bit more fun. But, you know, at least just get it out of the way and be done with it. Hi, Patty. Move on with your day. Oh, thank you for the kisses. Isn't he sweet? Yeah, I mean, just, you know, murder her and get on with your day. Yeah. All right, I have, I'm going to go get Starbucks now. All right. <laughs> Starbucks definitely did not exist. Oh, Patty's cuddling with me. Mm-hmm. This has never happened before. Well, you're on his side. This, ride. this. Kill her, Mommy. That's creepy. Yeah. Literally the rest of the movie is super hokey, but this. Okay, bye. <laughs> I see how it is. Oh. Do you have a bed down there? No. Oh. I figured you would move back over there. Hmm. He's kind of nice forever. He started eating his bed, so. Oh. It's the same texture as a toy because it's like a memory foam, so it's oh, okay. super soft. And... Yeah. She goes through every drawer, mm-hmm. neglecting the fact that there was a locked drawer, which is probably the most likely place to put the ammunition. Mm-hmm. And instead, she ends up not getting any bullets for her gun. But she had the perfect opportunity to kill her earlier and just avoid this whole situation. Exactly. Now she's all frantic. Not even hitting the lock. She's hitting the fucking handle of the drawer. Yeah. You are useless. But she can see that the drawer is locked. Yeah. Yeah. just freaks me out. I know. It's her teeth, man. Mm-hmm. And the hair. Yes. I'm going to throw random wrenches at you. I think I would take those fucking wrenches and shove them into her fucking eye sockets. <laughs> I'm 
Oh, How is she not like wincing? When you smack somebody, that shit hurts your hand. She's fucking nuts. Right? Maybe she just doesn't feel it. She's so fucking crazy. But she felt bad. Right. But seriously, just being slapped in the face and she just didn't even do anything, I'd be fucking fighting. Right. <laughs> then she slaps her, doesn't kill her, and runs away again. This you is like feeding you. into the stereotype that young girls are like useless. Like, uh, somebody smacked me in the face. I'm gonna go cry. Oh my god. Oh my god. The end of this movie. Well, like, the pre end. Mm-hmm. Fucking killed me. It was so hilarious. <laughs> I laughed through the entire movie the first time I watched it. <coughs> like, I was sitting at the computer because I had to download the movie because I don't own it (laughs) and watching it and I was like trying not to wake the baby up because it was like right outside his room I love how they just show the full moon with her kill her mommy kill her and like how she's superimposed over the rest of it yeah like a double exposure um, my mom and my sister have an Olin Mills portrait of the two of them like that, where, like, my mom is in one corner and my sister is in the other. <laughs> God. And my mom's, like, looking up at my sister. Because <laughs> oh, my sister was born so in 81, scary. so it was, like, really that style. Oh, God. Yeah. That's scary. At least you turned all the fucking lights off. Right. That was somewhat smart. But let's, you know look out the window and shit yeah not peek just open it yeah not like one finger to pull it aside just slightly so you can get half an eyeball out the window no she leaned out now she's gonna look out the door oh no i forgot she locks herself in the closet and then sits directly in front of the door like an idiot Pretty sure a knife can go through that. Those boards are pretty widely spaced. They have so much toilet paper in there. It's probably a good thing. There's 50 campers and 10 staff. Right? (laughs) There's just so much toilet paper. Well, I mean, fewer now. If you stand directly next to the door, she's going to be able to see you. Especially with that bright-ass yellow shirt. Right. You gonna get stabbed in here. I'm very conscious of how silent I'm being. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah, I feel like that's gonna be the problem with these kinds of. We haven't done it very much, I don't think. I feel like I've done it a lot. Ominous doorknob turning. Rattle, rattle, rattle. And then the now hammer. she definitely knows you're in there. Yeah. And you didn't think to bring a weapon in with you. No. Thank goodness for this well-seasoned lodge frying pan. I'm taking a few liberties here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's be real here. Most cast iron is lodge. She just has like a. There was way sword. too much wind up for that. Mm-hmm. With the fucking machete. And she's just wielding it like a fucking sword or something. And why would you leave the machete there? Because she does. She literally runs away without it. And again, you didn't kill her. No. Just chop her fucking head off. You have a machete. Right? Make damn sure. And set her on fire. I thought she was going to climb up the lifeguard tower. Hmm. And, so and she just goes to, like, the only lit outside place that she can go. Yeah. <laughs> Stick it out like a sore thumb. After not killing her again. Again. I 
And how are you even that tired? Like, you took a nap. And, uh, I think I'd be too freaked the fuck out to be tired. Right? She dun, caught dun, up dun, so dun, fast. Dun, 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 dun. She just caught up so fucking fast. Like, she's a fast old bitch, isn't she? Right? Nimble. How much would it suck? You avoided all this thing and you get fucking impaled. I know. <laughs> By half a boat oar. Yeah. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Right? You should have just killed her. I know. They definitely had to have trained with like some 80s wrestlers for that yeah. head banging on the ground move. Right? Da, da, she finally da, went for the machete. Da, da. Had plenty of time to run away, but instead gets her head chopped off. And then she just looks like, I just chopped somebody's head off. Yeah. That would have been... And then her clutching, no! <laughs> 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 Foiled again. <laughs> they have a lot of footage of this full moon. Yeah, they do. It's really creepy. And then it doesn't look like she has an oar. It just goes. And then she just. Because, like, the oar that she had. Was broken in half. Broken. And it's on the shore. Yeah. But she is not. But then when she wakes up, she has an oar. See, it looks like she's rowing right there. Do you see that? I know. With her hand, though. Because, see, she's still hanging over the side. Oh, she's super pale. <coughs> Bitch, you could have grabbed another one. I'm sure there was one in the other boat. Right? Pretty damn sure there was more than just one. And now she's got an oar. Mm-hmm. Very confused. <laughs> I love this music. <laughs> it's just so soothing after this movie. Uh -huh. I didn't even see the blue. It reminds me of um, Night Ranger. Yeah. Sister Christian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which was on my birth playlist, by the way. <laughs> I know, it's a very strange song. I think it came on right after Ed Sheeran. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I keep like accidentally knocking my face into the microphone. That's gonna be fun. I keep pulling away from the microphone. <laughs> we need like mic stands so that we can just sit on the couch all the time. It's quite enjoyable. We're just also we're how they get to open a summer camp in what looks to be fall. Right. Those leaves are changing. That is beautiful foliage. Decompose, dude. <laughs> da -da -da -da. See, that's a good ending right there. I thought it was cheesy as hell. <laughs> Three milligrams of Valium. Well, if they had stopped it there. Yeah. That would have been great. Yeah. I'm like, yay, we all die. Happy ending. I remember thinking, like, one of those Rob Zombie movies would have been so much better if the girl had woken up and it had been a dream at the end. I want to say House of a Thousand Corpses. Okay. How have you not seen that? It's Rob Zombie. Because I really suck at life. Apparently. But let's think about all the movies you haven't seen, Caitlin. And? So, we both suck. <laughs> I just heard two of my men puked you out of the lake. <laughs> they puked you out. They just puked you right out. <clears throat> the boy, Jason. Bill. 
She Bill. She doesn't care about Bill anymore. Fuck Bill. The water. Michael. <laughs> so loud. <laughs> Creakety creak creak. Mm -hmm. What time is it? Really late. Holy shit, it's almost 11 o'clock. <laughs> My gosh, I'm too old for this. Yeah. Yes, I'm saying that I'm too old for this, Caitlin. It's a night ranger fade into the lake. Of fall leaves. Mm -hmm. That's the reflection. I almost. <laughs> I breathed in wrong and I almost <laughs> coughed. <laughs> it was like. <laughs> <laughs> How do you breathe in wrong? I don't know. It hit my throat weird. Oh, man. All right, Betsy, Betsy Palmer, Palmer. You're pretty creepy. I wonder if she. How, when she died, because I'm assuming she's dead. Probably. Yeah, All right, guys. That's well, so that's the end of the movie. I hope you have yes. a spoopy Friday the 13th. Okay, what is spoopy? What does I that mean? I don't know. It's some meme thing. I don't get it. It's like a Tumblr or something. Now I'm going to have to look it up. I yeah. Tumblr. All right. That's the end of the show. Okay. Bye. Yes, bye.